All right, how to call a BAQ from a query. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a very simple BAQ. Just call it my BAQ. I'm going to bring in the part table and just going to display a couple of fields here. Part number, description. Uh, let's take all these. There we go. So like I said in my email, you probably want to uh, use parameters instead of replacing the where and the where items. Uh, it's a little cleaner. So in your criteria for the part, uh, just click new. Select the field you want to use like you would normally. And then in your filter value, select parameter. Make sure that the value Quant, uh, the format matches that of the field you're going to be comparing against. Alright, so a simple test will yield a prompt where you can say, you know, parts that start with 10 and it returns a list of parts that match. Simple enough. Make sure the BAQ is shared because you'll have to do that from within uh, to be able to use it with any other users. So I'm going to use my trusty ABC code screen to show you the code. So here we go. I'm going to go into customization mode. I'm going to add a new sheet. You don't have to do this part. This is just for me to be able to have a drawing soft surface. All right, I'm going to add my text box, which is going to provide me the value for the parameter. So I'm just going to call it txt param. And a label. It's going to say lbl param. So part starts with I'm going to put a grid in here where I'm going to display my results. And I'm going to give me a trusty little button to actually execute my query. Simple enough. So when I do my button click event to actually execute my query, Alright, so the first thing I have to bring in is going to be my dynamic query DLLs. You can do that from the customization wizard, reference adapter BL assembly. And it's going to give you a list of all the adapters available. Dynamic query is down here at the bottom. Hit finish and close. And what that's going to do is if you go to your assembly reference manager, you'll see that it referenced both the adapter and the business object, which you'll both uh, need to do this. So <clears throat> when uh, the person clicks a button, I'm going to instantiate a new dynamic query adapter. And I'm going to connect it to my database. Maybe. Oh, we're not using the proper I'm going to get a list of those parameters needed for my BAQ.
So what this line does is it gets a list of all those parameters that we defined um, earlier on the BAQ query execution data set. Get query execution parameters by ID. Just making sure I spelled everything right. <coughs> All right, so we now have a list of those parameters. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear the defaults because we're going to replace it with our own. Now you don't have to do this part. You can loop through the list of parameters that it brings back and change the values. Uh, but I'm, I'm lazy. I know exactly what I want, so I'm just going to add my own. And this is the name of my parameter. So I can go here and look at it. It is called part param. So I can copy this guy. Don't need the add symbol. Make sure that I spelled everything correctly. I did. All right. So then all that's left to do is uh, call my actual uh, execution of my query. Again, I need to pass it my query ID and my execution data set that tells it, you know, what parameters I'm passing in. And I should be able to get my results back and assign them to my grid. So. If I was lucky enough and did everything right, I can now come in here, type in one zero, hit the button and get my results. Hopefully you found that useful.